What is up, Algebra 1? It is Mr. Knight here bringing you the last level of our Unit 4 linear equations. Um, we've been looking at really uh, one case of getting a linear equation, which was last lesson. Um, that was where I gave you the slope, I give you a point, and then I want you to find that linear equation. Today, though, I want us to see how just given two points, we actually have all the information we need to get this linear equation. And remember, our linear equation is y equals mx plus b, and we really just need that m and that b. So let's figure out how we can do that with an example. Let's jump right in, okay? So we're going to find the linear equation that contains the points 3, negative 2, and 7, 2, all right? Well, if we want to find the slope, we don't have a graph, but that's not a big deal because we have our handy-dandy slope formula that we use way back when, and that is m equals y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. And so let's go ahead and label these points x1, x1, y1, and x2, y2. Now let's see what that's going to look like. So when we go ahead and we label these guys, we're going to plug them in exactly as we see in the formula. So we're going to do 2 minus minus 2, and then we're going to do our 7 minus 3 on the bottom. If we have a minus minus, we end up getting a positive out of that guy. So we get 4 over 4, and 4 over 4 just reduces to 1. So our slope, our m, is just 1. So we can replace that m with 1, and now we have y equals 1x plus b. Now we need to find the b. Well, it kind of works similar to how we did with me giving you the slope, and now you had a point, right? So what you did with that point was, for example, this one we have one of our points to be 7, 2. I can plug my x and my y, I could plug my 7 and my 2 in for x and y respectively and go ahead and solve for b. So I'm going to do that. And I pick 7 and 2, it doesn't really matter, I could pick 3 and negative 2, but I chose what I thought was easier, which was something without negatives. So I throw this stuff in, 7 goes in for x, 2 goes in for y, and now I can solve for b. And you can see kind of how this breaks down. Um, to get b by itself, I have to subtract 7 from both sides, so I get negative 5 equals b, and there's my b, there's my slope, so y equals my 1x minus 5, and that is my equation of that line, uh, given just two points, that's all we need actually, okay? So here are some of the quick steps, if you need some steps, if that helps you out, um, linear equations from two points, find the slope with your slope formula, and then find the b with a point by plugging in an xy point. And you will be sitting good if you can do those steps, all right? So let's try another example together, and then I'll give you guys a chance to try this on your own. So we are going to try this one right here. I just give you the points right off the bat. We know we need it to be y equals mx plus b. That's what we're trying to get. And so I'm going to label this x1, y1. This one x2, y2. Why am I doing that? Well, I gotta find my slope. I gotta find my m. And once again, I'm going to just use that same exact equation. Same exact formula. And I'm gonna plug and chug some stuff. So I'm gonna have negative 4 minus 2 on top. I'm going to have 4 minus 0 on the bottom. And so signs are the same. We add and keep the same sign. So I have negative 6 over 4. And negative 6 over 4, that just reduces to negative 3 over 2. And so that is my slope. So I have y equals negative 3 over 2x plus b. And again, uh, it comes down to what points do we want to plug in for x and y um, to make it so we can solve this as easy as possible. really doesn't matter. Take your pick. I'm just going to do this one right here because this x is a zero. So if I plug that in, that makes it really nice, okay? So I end up getting two equals negative three halves zero plus b. Anything times zero is zero. So two is going to equal b. And that's it. So my linear equation is just going to boil down to y equals negative three halves x plus two. And that's all it is. Another thing you can kind of note um, without even plugging stuff in is, well, if I know a line is going through these two points, this guy right here 
that is my y-intercept. It is 0, 2. So that's kind of nice. It actually just ends up showing itself no matter what. If I plugged in 4, negative 4, I would have got the same y-intercept. But you can just look at that and see in that example, hey, I got 0, 2. My 2 is going to go in for b. All right. I'd like you guys to try this one on your own. I want you to first find the slope. Then I want you to find the y-intercept and uh, give it a shot. Go. All right, we're back. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to find the slope first. I'm going to call this x1, y1. x2, y2. Let's use our slope formula. Good old reliable. Slope formula, you never hurt us. You never did. We got y2 up top. And then we have minus my y1, which is a negative 4. On the bottom, I got negative 3 minus minus 2. These are all going to turn into pluses. Negative 3 plus 4, that gives me a positive 1. Negative 3 plus 2, that gives me a negative 1. So overall, my slope is going to end up equaling negative 1. So let's put that into our equation to start. And I'm going to write it just like that. I'm going to write it as negative x plus b, uh, even though this is a negative 1. Whatever you prefer. If you need to put the negative 1, that's fine. So now I'm going to plug in, I'm going to just do this first point right here. I'm going to plug negative 4 in for y. I'm going to plug in a negative 2 for x. I can't forget this negative out here. That's still technically a negative 1. So you could treat it like that. And so I get negative 4 equals 2 plus b. I have to, to get b by itself, I have to subtract 2 from both sides. So I get negative 6 equals b. So my linear equation is going to be y equals negative x minus 6. All right. And let's give one more a shot. What's the linear equation between these two points? Go ahead and give it a shot. And we go. All right. We are back from our quick commercial break. Let's see what we got. So I'm going to call this one x1, I'm going to call this one y1, I'm going to call this x2, y2, because again, it does not matter at all. You should get the same slope. So if you put it the other way, it's fine. So my y2 is 4 minus my y1 is negative 1. My x2 is 1 minus 6. So minus minus turns to a plus. So I get 5 over 1 minus 6 is negative 5. And this is going to simplify to a negative 1. So the same slope, same exact slope as last time. And lastly, I'm going to take one of these points, plug them in for x and y. I'm going to do this one because it has less negatives. That's kind of nice for us. So 4 equals negative, and I have 1 in for x, plus b. So 4 equals negative 1 plus b. To get rid of that negative 1 next to the b, I have to add 1 both sides, so 5 equals b. Thus, my equation on my line is y equals negative x plus 5. All right, that's pretty much all you are going to have to do for your homework. This is actually a very, very useful skill, especially when you get into higher mathematics, um, so it's good we're kind of getting the practice a little bit now. So Mr. Knight, signing off. Have a really good day.